Hello, everyone. All right. I'm so, sorry. Sorry, the little. Um, I wanted to start right on time. Anyway, um, I, I'm starting now because I know that I said one o'clock and it's one o'clock. I was just preparing um, some of the things that I was going to need to get ahead of myself um, because some of them take time to prepare like um, my asparagus. I like to peel it. I know most people don't, but I do. I don't like to fix skin on the asparagus, so I, I like to peel it. So I was doing that. Um, I don't know where my um, where my assistant chef is because he is the assistant. Um, you saw his shenanigans this morning. He was out in the yard. So anyway. We're gonna get started with our honey mustard chicken. Hopefully um, we will make it into the house. Um, I, think it, I think he finished. I think he finished in the yard. I'm hoping, cause he's always up to something. So I'm gonna move this camera a little bit just because. There we go. I'm gonna get my carrots. Firstly, I try to get all my stuff organized so that I'll be organized for you guys. Um, so here we go. We are making this new dish that I'm actually looking forward to. I don't know. I've gotten into these. Um, right now, I'm just taking... Um, I'm cutting off the ends of the asparagus, getting, uh, getting that ready. Um, we'll see where my my assistant chef is. I, I don't know where he went. Um, he said he was done in the yard, but anyway, we are. I think we're finally done with everything in the yard. I don't know. He always has some new project out there that he's working on. Now, on this recipe, it says, you know, it says to use um, three potatoes. You guys can use however, however many veggies you want. You can use, you can even add extra veggies. I know it only calls for broccoli, um, carrots, a red onion, and the asparagus, but you can add mushrooms. Um, you can add cauliflower. Um, I actually have some snow peas in the fridge and I have some mushrooms. So I am going to add that in there also. So I just peeled my asparagus. You just peel the ends. You don't, peel, you don't do the top, you just peel the ends. Um, I like it because then it's not so tough when, after you cook it, it's not so tough when you're um, biting into it. Um, we'll see what Mark is. I don't know how to do that. Do you know Mark? You guys know Mark. He's always up to something. Um, also on a chicken breast, uh, sometimes the chicken breasts are really big. So I'm gonna probably have to cut some of mine in half because they are big. Um, and you want them to cook evenly when um, when you put them in the oven. So I'm going to prepare this dish now, and then we're going to cook it later for dinner. So um, what I like to do is I like to prepare my sheet pan, and I put foil paper on it just because it'll be um, it'll be easier to clean. When they're done, you just take the foil paper off of the, the cookie sheet and um, you're done. You don't have to do any other cleaning. It's that simple. 
And then um, the fact that you're preparing it now and you can cook it later. Um, another thing you can do is you can, um, you can, if you don't want to cook it that same day that you prepare it, you can always just put it in the fridge um, for a day or so. I wouldn't go longer than a day and cook it another night. Um, it's totally up to you. So um, I will get, I'm going to get all my veggies ready first because that way then we can just start layering things. So I'm going to start cutting my potatoes just to cut them in bite-sized pieces. So I'm just going to cut them in half and then in half again. And I think that should be big enough. Let's see, that should be big enough. So I'll cut these up first. Um, I think usually when you prepare, you know, I like to prepare the, the veggies first on most, most of the time when I do stuff, I like to get everything ready and then I just start, um, putting things in, into the bowl or the casserole dish, um, in order. So there's no specific way of doing it. So this is all going to basically go into one pan. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Oh, good God. He's here. I guess he did finish. And he's in his getup. Yeah, I'm ready for my photo shoot. What, what happened to your... Um... I was going to come out with no shirt on. Oh, good. But because no, we're food. cooking. We don't want you around the food naked. Thank yeah, you very much. Potatoes. <laughs> what are you going to tell us? Oh, don't eat about potatoes. No, I'm going to cook that. That's disgusting. That's gross. What's up? Uh, what so am I, I'm what, what did myself. you do today? Well, what What were you up to today? Let's well, see. Um, I was cleaning the yard. Uh-huh. And, uh, and what did you manage to get done? We filled the trash again. <laughs> That's a shocker. Oh my God, we filled the trash. Our trash was gonna hate us. I think they already hate us. All right, got my Hulk Hogan look. I got with me a yellow. Hulk Hogan. Honey, look at this, man. Yeah, but this is Hulkamania right here. <laughs> I don't, I don't think Hulkamania. I'm not as big as him. Not all. <laughs> I don't I'm think. Not quite. I don't think that's the. I'm almost. Way. I'm. All, I'm getting there. <laughs> this, is my, this is my bike look, man. I'm doing a photo shoot. Me and Adam, me and Adam Sternberg are doing a photo shoot. That's nice. I'm here. wearing my uh, my favorite shirt today. Spider? You're my, a, hey, I'm still wearing my the EV, My Evie and Alec favorite shirt. Dog's um, mama. Dog's mama. Dog mama. Not you know dogs. what I'm wearing? Look at this. <laughs> You're wearing the same shirt that you wore last weekend. Or two weekends ago, actually. Yeah, I got All right, so I finished cutting up my potatoes into bite-sized pieces. Um, I'm going to do the same with the mushrooms. So I'm going to add some mushrooms. I don't know if people know my true identity right now. Your true I'm identity. I'm going to reveal myself what right now. true identity? As a chef. Guys, people here. don't believe that you're a chef. Because you don't do any of the cooking. And uh, you can't right. be on the phone. Hang on a second. Ryan decided to call me during my Facebook no. live because he's not on. Ryan show. cannot call you right now because we're cooking. Uh, I'm sorry, can you please repeat that out loud so our listeners, our 17,000 listeners can hear that? This is Ryan Anderson, my best friend in the whole world in Canada. Go, Ryan. First of all, it's a guy calling you to tell you about fashion. That's like... Oh, you don't know me, girl. You just that, that's yourself, like, girl. That, that has no... I just thought I was just so impressed by that bandana. <laughs> Damn! You heard that That, that bandana. Ryan that bandana is awful. If you notice, he was in the last movie with Matt McConaughey. He was in Magic Mike 2. No, he was not. It's, yes, yes, he was. No, he was not. He was too. He's going to eat out of that event. I highly doubt it. Have you seen Ryan dance? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Ryan's got it down. Ryan just jig with it. Exactly no, my point. No, he did not okay. teach Matthew McConaughey. I've got webinar con on one page, and you are on your page, and I just hey. have to interrupt this, this presentation on webinar con just to call and let you know. 
And did I answer your call? Did I not answer your call during Facebook Live? Yeah, you shouldn't be answering now, a phone or more on. I've got my bandana. Check this one out. I got bunches of them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting me a bike. We're doing a photo shoot. I'm getting a leather jacket. I'm going to look like the hottest man out there. Oh my God. Every man is going to be jealous. <laughs> Every woman is going to want to say, I want that man. I want that man. Okay. So that's what we called for two parents. Now, you Every guys. Guy, we'll say for sure. I want to be. You guys know that Mark likes carrots. So I always, I have, to put, um, I always have to put extra carrots in and there. I got me because, a um, red bandana right here. Check this bad boy out. Oh my god. Check that one out, huh? That's what I'm feeling crypto. Right there, I got my red one. I got all kinds of them. You're insane. No, that's just how me and Ryan roll. Ryan and I, we were. You and Ryan. Okay, we used to own a restaurant uh, about 22 years ago. And Ryan is a sous chef. That's why the reason why he taught me how to cook, and I'll teach you longer right now. And first of all, you were late to our. It was called show. our restaurant so you, was called Forced Fork and Spoon. You can't be a chef. Show up late. Uh, when you are the chef, you can show up. No, you can't you want, because if you are the chef, you want, they need you to show up and I'm cook sorry. the food. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you want, Brian. Will you talk to her, please? Apparently, she is. Anyway, lost it. so I put extra carrots in there I for Mark um, because he loves carrots. Um, and, and you like usually, my hair dip? usually for um, oh, yeah. when I make when I make when I make meals like okay when I make meals like this I she have to um, um she just shoved me away I, I like to add more veggies and I, I, you I was off the phone honey no I was told I look like Hulk Hogan I'm getting a yellow shirt well, obviously that my next one blind I'm gonna get a, a you yellow can't be shirt on the phone, honey. and I'm gonna I'm gonna rip it apart like oh. Oh, you're too late now, brother. Um, all right. You got to hold it. I think that should be okay. Talk to you soon. Um, no, 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 no. I, uh, I am right. thirsty. Would you like something to drink, me, love? Hey, can I do a British accent? Go on, would you? My love, my love, would you like what? something to drink, me, love? What is that? Where's that from? Is that Irish? Like okay. Uh, okay, I'll do the Irish one. Oh, good day, my love. Mine look pretty cheap. May I get you something to drink? It's a cooking place, a little wine. Crazy. Would you like a little wine to the cooking? No, I don't want wine. Okay. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I do not want wine. I uh, want a Bloody Mary. That about sounds right. I get yourself a Bloody You're Mary. Do do da, do da. All I right. Do the Bloody Mary. Uh, well, what accent do I do? Huh? I want to do an accent. People know I'm, so I'm not so Let's not do accents right now. Let's but try to concentrate on the fact that I'm cooking for people we right now. Are we cooking. are not cooking. We are. Um, <laughs> we are. I'm like okay. a big part of this. One onion. I'm going to use, I have an onion that I already started, so I'm going to use that one up. And the onion you're just going to cut into also, because it doesn't have to be pretty because it's, all going into one sheet. Stop eating the food right now. You're not helping. I'm showing you that it's no, safe you're not to eat helping. Raw food. You're not helping. Can I eat carrots? No, you cannot eat anything right now. Can I have, uh, what's I'm going to give you a piece of onion. That's what I'm going to give you. Oh, so anyway, no. you can cut it into big chunks, or you can, if you if you like it smaller, you can call it cut it into small chunks. Totally up to you. Um, it's all about your. It's, it's what looks pretty to you. For me, it says to cut it into chunks, so I'm going to cut it into chunks. Oh, so, hey, I'm going to use half of this other onion. Look at the cancer. Because I actually like red onion. Red onion is really good. Um, and I also like pickled red onion. That is disgusting. <laughs> So good. I think I'm going to show you guys my next my next meal is going to be um, showing you guys my um, my personal um, chicken in the back. No, where is that one? My personal um, chicken burglars that I make. Um, 
a lot of people don't like chicken burgers because I don't like chicken burgers because a lot of times they don't use restaurants don't use um, ground chicken um, when they do a chicken burger they usually use like a big uh, chicken breast and um, I'm not a fan of a huge you know piece of chicken breast on a sandwich so I usually buy ground chicken and then I make my own I mix my own seasoning and ingredients into it and that's like your carrot right? so I usually put um I'm ignoring you right now um, I usually put um serrano peppers bread onion um some cilantro and some serrano peppers to the ground chicken and then I make it into patties. So I'm gonna show you guys how, how, I, how do I do how I do my um Patty chicken um, burgers. No patty is not here. I don't think she is but I can't see the comments so I don't know who is on. Brian Henry go oh, hi Karen. Hi, Brian my buddy um can you tip the camera down so we can see when you are oh okay honey tip the camera down a little bit honey you have to you have to um okay you don't obviously you're not a very good cameraman i'm more of the I'm more hey, of the host you're not even a host no. um if the thing is that if i do that too much? I'm gonna cut. Squat. I'm squat. gonna cut my head off. Just squat like this. Don't look like. I'm taller than Mark. Don't look at See, then my head gets cut off um, a little bit. Anyway, that's fine. I will. Um, so here's what I did. So I cut the onion into chunks, and I cut the carrots into chunks, and the potato. Now the asparagus. Um, <laughs> It doesn't say to cut it, but I'm going to probably cut it into big pieces so that it's not the full thing. And then here's, um, here's the broccoli. The broccoli is really easy because you can just take it off and do it like that. So like a mistletoe. Take the little flowerets and just take them off. Made as a mistletoe. See, and then, um, it's not mistletoe, honey. <laughs> It's a broccoli <laughs> God. Um, <laughs> if some of these are too big, I usually cut them in half just so that they're not so big. See, just cut it in half. Like I said, this meal, it's, it's, it, it, it's not going to be like, um, little pieces of the, of the food. Um, everything's going to be really, um, chunky, um, so it doesn't really um, matter how you cut the broccoli. And if you want to leave it as a flowerette, just take it off. You can do that too. Um, all I'm doing is breaking off the little flowerettes off of there. Um, like I said, I put a lot of vegetables into my um, the dishes that um, call for veggies because I love veggies. So. I usually tend to to put more because half the time I'm uh, um, I eat mostly veggies. Even though I put chicken in there, I'll, you need a tomato. I'll, 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 um, I'll mostly eat like a plate of veggies. So um, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm, I'm a vegan, so I don't eat any. You are not a vegan. You don't, even, you don't even know what a vegan is. Okay, I'm a vegetarian. Is that better? Yeah, I'm a, oh, okay. I'm a vegetarian. I'm a secondary vegetarian. What did that say? I only eat animals that eat plants. I'm a secondary vegetarian. I am a true vegetarian. Oh, no. What is this? Okay. So a lot of times what I like to do when I'm in my kitchen is I like to get the asparagus. And you don't have to cut them up, but what I'll do is I like to cut them up. So I'll use a, a knife about this size, or this size, or this size. And sometimes if you want to make 
it's a really good headway to have all three knives at the same time. What, what are what you talking you, about? I was doing filler time. What are you talking about? I was filling time for that. Because you... <laughs> no, I'm not filling any time. I'm trying sure. to figure out what my phone is doing because... Um, Can I cut something? Jeez. Okay, I'm going to cut these up. Um... Okay. I don't know what it did. Anyway. Um, I, all that matters is that I'm cutting this up right now. What no, I'm going to do stop is... Stop cutting. You don't even, you're not even cutting anything. Stop being a distraction. You're not helping. You are... What are you going to cut? I was going to cut these up, but I'm not going to cut nothing up. Now I'm going to go sit down and drink me No, wine. you stay here and uh, talk to our audience. Honey. I know. I, I, uh, Okay, whatever. Um, anyway, I cut up some broccoli, as you can see. Um, then I'm going to also cut up some of my um, green beans. Well, not green beans, but the snow peas that I have. I have a bag of snow peas, so I'm just gonna stick them in there because they're good. And um, Like I said, we'll put a lot of, uh, well, I'm going to put a lot of veggies in there. So once this is all done, I think I got enough broccoli. I don't know, maybe I should put a little bit more just because I have a lot of broccoli. Are you not coming over here? I'm doing the work behind the camera scenes. No, you're not. You're not doing anything behind the cameras. I was up there trying to cut something. I got thrown out. You, nobody threw you out. I just told you I didn't need any. What were you cutting? The asparagus. All right, cut the asparagus into, here, we'll give you a cutting board. And you can cut the asparagus into, um, why do you need a bandana? Chefs don't wear bandanas. Yeah, yeah we don't. <laughs> they don't. Well, I get not <laughs> Chefs don't wear bandanas, just so you know. I've never seen a chef wear a bandana. Anyway, so I'm getting all my broccoli. Now I have, I have washed all my veggies prior to our cooking session here. Just if you're wondering, um, I already washed everything. <laughs> I want to see my head. <laughs> all right, take the asparagus here. And just cut the asparagus like this. Uh, I think I know how to cut asparagus. No, see, we're, we're cutting the asparagus into chunks, just like that. Okay, I used to own a restaurant with Ryan. You never owned a restaurant with Ryan. It was called Fork and A. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was. <laughs> All right, while well, Mark is cutting the, uh, the asparagus that he says, Oh, I have a job now. He knows how to do. Um, yep. I'm going to get our, um, our sauce ready. And I already got some of my ingredients here. What I found that whenever a recipe calls for a, um, sauce, I always double it just because I want to make sure that I have enough to coat everything that I'm cooking. But if you have kids, you don't double it. What so do? I doubled the, the, the recipe called for and it said three tablespoons of vinegar honey one right. tablespoon of um whole grain mustard i hate mustard and two tablespoons of sugar, I'm sugar. brown sugar but because mark doesn't like mustard mustard i only put half of what the rest of, i mean That's i only right. put what i didn't double that unless you have kids i doubled everything else so i have I have here six tablespoons of honey. See, that's safe in Spanish. And so I'm going to mix. You have to mix the honey. What? What's that? The brown sugar. Why you calling me? You're standing right here next well, to me. Well, why do you say honey? Why would I be calling Because you keep saying honey. you're standing right here next to me. All right. And I said honey because I'm using what? honey. What? So. Mix the sugar. Brown you gotta sugar. tilt it so they can see. 
they can see what I'm doing because they see me, they see it. Can you hand me a spoon? Because my sugar got it's not my job. a little bit hard. Because I shook it out. Sue chef don't do spoons. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Next and so I have one, one table, uh, a big one, one tablespoon of mustard only. I didn't double the mustard because Mark doesn't like it. Don't like mustard. I don't, I don't mind it. And I, it has to be honest. If, it's, if it was only for me, I would have only done, I would have done the, the doubling of the mustard also. Okay. No. And it's, it's a whole, um, whole grain mustard. So it's not your typical yellow or nasty gray coupon. Oh god, no coupon the greater. It's um I used this. I don't really know how to say it. Inglehofer That's, original no, stone it's ground Inglehofer. stone ground mustard. Um my uncle owns that company, Inglehofer. <laughs> you guys uh, you mentioned my uncle Bob. He got twenty percent off of Inglehofer. <laughs> Tell him Uncle Bob sent you. Who is Uncle Bob? Uncle Bob, when I was a kid, I made soap on the rope. He liked soap on the rope. So uh, you made soap, soap yes, on the rope? Yes, my uncle. Already invented. No, I know that. He, he said he loved soap on the rope. And I said, oh, okay. And I think I was four years old. And <laughs> he called Mark me always has these lovely stories to yeah. tell us. Four years old, and I remember him saying, I love soap on the rope. He didn't tell me why he liked soap on the rope, so I made him soap on the rope. I why went, does he like soap on the rope? Well, I'm getting to that. Oh, I'm sorry. So what I did is I took a, like a little nail and something like that, and I drilled okay. a hole in a bar of soap. Here's our mixture. That's what it looks like. Honey, brown sugar, and the mustard. So I drilled a hole in it, and I put this cord on there, and I tied it so it was like a rope. And I wrapped it up and I gave it to him. I called it and I said, I actually wrote in there soap on the rope. And he, this was when I was three, so this was a while ago. Three or four. You wrote it when you were three? I wrote it, I wrote on the bar of the soap, it's soap on the rope. And he got it and he started just laughing. He goes, That's the best gift he ever got. Well, he called me at Christmas time. It was last Christmas. We were in Phoenix. Last and Christmas. Remember when we were in Phoenix? And, oh, I, and I got a call okay. from my Uncle Bob. He goes, yes. do you remember the best gift I got? He goes, uh, soap on the rope. He goes, that's right. And he said, okay. so now I'm going to take my chicken. Hey, hey, get him. Hey, okay. I've already washed it once, but what the heck. So here's why he liked soap on the rope. I did not know this. It's not that he liked the soap on the rope. He actually liked the smell of soap on the rope. Yeah, he liked the way it smelled. So the soap. Call, him, call my Uncle Bob. He'll Wait, like the soap changes scent? Honey, this was 1967. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to take our chicken. I actually take off any like little things that I don't like on there. Now, these are vegetarian chickens, so you know. <laughs> There's actually no meat in them whatsoever. They were grain um, fed, so they actually grow like vegetables. So we just put them on the on the plate here. I mean, on the. Was that the, nonstick? Is uh, that, no, because I'm going to put olive oil on there. Well, we need to get some olive oil on there. Olive Not oil. yet. It doesn't say to put the olive oil on there yet. Oh, See, oh. this chicken breast is like really. It's, oh, oh. This um this chicken breast is huge, so I'm actually going to cut it in half because I wanted to cook evenly with the rest of the stuff. So. Kirkland's, you know what that means. I'm cutting a piece of it off. That means we went to uh, Costco. We're buying okay. toilet paper too. This is good fish and bait. If you have it near a lake and you want to use this for fish and bait, you can use like the skin and stuff, or you we can. We do not use, do you really use that? I don't know. You're making up stuff. I don't make right it now. Now my Uncle Bob story. I think you're story. making up. That's that's your story. Right now you're making up stories. I'm not making. You want me to call Uncle Bob right now? No. I will call it. I'm calling him right now. I'm sure you. I'm sure no, Uncle no. Bob will agree with you. No. <laughs> Where well, is Uncle Bob? Where is he? He used live? to live in New Jersey. He used to work at Mack Truck, but he did move to. Uh, 
Carolines? Would it be under you? I don't know. I don't know how you label your people. You don't ever label people under their name. So I'm just, I'm just going to make that much chicken because, um, are you going to eat some of this chicken? Honey? Uncle Bob. Are you going to eat some of this chicken? Uncle Bob. Huh? Uncle, what's that? Are you going to eat some of this chicken? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Call my Uncle Bob right now. So now that we got the chicken prepared. He's going to verify the fact that I made him soap on the road. So. Oh, now that I put the chicken on here, he has yeah. probably screaming his calls. And it says to put all the veggies around the chicken. That's me, right, Terry. So we're just gonna take, but you know what? First, because all these veggies are gonna pile up on here. Um, I am going to take our mixture. What's our little brush? Do we have brush? I have a brush. No, what's our little brush that I usually use for my chicken? Oh, yeah. For basting. I have a small one. Okay. Is it over there? Yes. You know why you don't know where stuff is? Because you're not the sushi. No, because you don't put my stuff back where it's supposed to be. Well, that could be the answer. Well, I know that's the answer because you don't know where it's at either. Yes, I did. I didn't did put too. it back where I have it. Anyway, I'm going to take, take my little spatula here, and it says to coat the chicken with the mixture. Yes. So we're going to, can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, right, I'm going to hold this up. There's my fish. Honey, I'm gonna need your help. Stop over there. Hey. No, I don't need it anymore. I need you to come and hold this for me so people can see what I'm doing. Come on. I, I'm walking as fast as you do. Hold that bowl. All right, so here's the dish. Here's, the here's my chicken. Bring it over here. Bring it over there. No, no, don't spill it. I bring it over there. So you take a mixture. Take the mixture. And you just mix, mix it up. Put it on the chicken. Why don't I hold that up there? Because once they see what I'm doing on one piece of chicken, I don't have to. I don't have to hold the dish the whole time. I'm spreading it on the chicken. So just coat it really well. Because the more like the more you put on there, the be the better the flavor you ever made will be. This um, no, this is my first time making it. That's then why you don't know that. What? How the better the place will be. Well, it's got brown sugar and honey what? and mustard, oh, salt and pepper. Um, I think it's going to be pretty dang good. That's what I think. Well, I don't, uh, I don't know. I like the smell of that. I don't know what else is in there. It's just honey and what? I just told you, honey, mustard, what? and brown sugar. Well, stop calling. Me. <laughs> I'm not calling. You keep you. saying honey. Stop it. <laughs> So what's in there? <laughs> what's in there? I'm not repeating it. What's in? I need to know what. What's in there? Sugar, and? brown sugar, mustard, okay. and H O M E Y. <laughs> Hune? What's a Hune? It's honey. What? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Just coat your chicken really well with it. So Not jacket, coat it Just like a coat jacket. It really well. I think. I think. Um, Why is there still a spoon in there? See, I put a little bit. I, I made some. Um, I made some. Coating slits on top of the. Honey, some, don't say that. Um, honey, get out of the way. You are t to put it on that one. <laughs> There's all kinds of crap on there. Get that off there. I'm trying to get her to spin. Well, okay, why is my spoon bothering you? It was in the way. No, it wasn't. It was not in my way. And I'm the one cooking. Jesus. We are cooking, so you know. <laughs> I'm here with my bandana on. Here. Mr. It's bothering me. All right. Wow, this 
See what I, why I said I make extra because these chicken breasts are so big. That, I love big um, breasts and I cannot lie. Oh Even, it comes with chicken. Even it comes with chicken or thigh. I cannot tell you why I love chicken breast and thigh. This is what I know. <laughs> you are so terrible. <laughs> I don't know why my Uncle Bob didn't pick up. He's probably busy. I call like every 10 years. I don't know why he <laughs> wrong our relationship. I thought I kept in touch with him. And what I'll do is tonight, when, if we cook this tonight, I will, uh, we will show you the finished product tonight. Um, so there we are. I have coated the chicken breast. See, doesn't that look yummy? And then now you just take all your veggies and put them on the side. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of veggies. See what I mean? I told you I, was, I told you we were gonna have um, a lot of. So now I'm mixing. This is salt and pepper that I mixed together. So I figure you're gonna put it on there together. So you put a little bit of salt and pepper. Make sure you put salt and pepper on the chicken breast for sure. And you wanna do it now because if you would've put the salt and pepper on there when you coated it, it would just, the honey, the mixture would've just taken everything off. And I like to have, I like to make sure that they're seasoned well, all right. Now, we, honey, you can start putting veggies on here. You want me to get the honey? What'd you say? No, put, start putting veggies on here. So we're putting. I'm putting the potatoes, the carrots, the onions. You just pile it on there. Wow, that looks really good. That's a lot of broccoli. Let me farting up a storm. You don't have to put it all on there. Because when I eat broccoli, I know I'm really gassy. I have a little bit to eat my broccoli. That's what I know. Are we putting mushrooms in there? Like I said, you can put as many veggies as you want. No, I don't think I'm going to put mushrooms in there. You got mushrooms over there. All right, well, I got them out, but I think this is enough veggies. I think, I think we need more carrots. I think we got enough carrots. I think we need more carrots. No, I think we got enough carrots. Carrots are good for you. I think we got enough on there. Okay, these children are watching. Carrots are good for you. Well, the children know that the carrots are good for them. Well, we are so, an example. We don't just so talk about the adults. We don't just talk. We do. All right. Honey, no, I wasn't going to put all that on there. I'm going to do this to the rabbits. No, you are. I don't think we have any more rabbits. Seriously? Do we? Oh, my God. I haven't seen any in a while. And then you take the rest of the salt and pepper and you just uh, sprinkle it on top of the veggies so that they have a little bit of flavor. Oh, I forgot these potatoes over here. Put a little bit of salt and pepper on those. And put them on here. And this is only half, I mean, it, I know it seems like it's a lot of salt and pepper, but it's only half a teaspoon. It's not that much. And what's great is that we have a lot of veggies on there. So then, we put a little bit of um, olive oil on the top. We're gonna sprinkle a little, so this is what it looks like. See? They have veggies, but there's chicken in there. They know chicken. The chicken, <laughs> the chicken is in there. The chicken off. <laughs> the chicken over here. It just looks really good. So we just take a little bit. It said to take. It says a tablespoon, or. It, no, it says three table. Ooh, that's a lot. Three tablespoons of olive oil. 
All right, so I'm going to measure it then. I usually don't measure, but because I'm showing you guys how to do it, and this is my first time doing it. We're going to pour the art down. We are going hey. to. Um, this is my shirt. You, you drizzle. That's one tablespoon. So then we're going to take three of those, and we're just going to drizzle it. It's like drizzle, like so. All, all over. Like if, if you're really drunk, um, do you, do you ever do like that said, the cleanup will be really easy because I put foil paper on the bottom of this, uh, on the bottom of the cookie sheet before I uh, put all the stuff on it. So that when you get done eating, you just take the foil paper off and then you're done with the cleanup. Uh, yeah. Do you ever drool? That's like drooling. Yeah. You want to drool well, over Let's not message. talk about food and drool and people need to relate. that sounds very disgusting. No, they don't need to relate. That actually sounds very gross. I don't want to hear about drool on my food. You're getting kicked out again. <laughs> Nobody's kicking yeah. you out. I just said nobody wants to hear about drool. <laughs> All right. So what happened to your Uncle Bob? You didn't, did you finish your story on Uncle Bob? Yeah. Ah, all right. So that's it. That's our dish for tonight. That's tonight's meal. What's good is that this also makes good leftovers if you have leftovers. Um, I don't know if we're going to have anybody come over today and help us eat all of this. Um, we might. We should invite Cousin Ralph. Um, or we can go over to his house and hang out. Anyway, so that's, that's the honey mustard chicken for your Sunday meal. Um, enjoy. I hope you guys make it. Um, we'll reveal the finished product when we cook it tonight. So um, we will see you guys tomorrow. Yes, um, um, how long to cook it? Our chef obviously is not in the mood today. So you preheat your oven to 400. And you cook it, it says to bake in the oven for 25 minutes. Um, I'm going to go a little longer because my chicken breast were really baked, like I said. So I will probably go about 35 minutes. Um, I wouldn't go longer than that only because the veggies will get real mushy and I don't like mushy veggies. So that's it. We will see you tomorrow on... Conversations with Mark and Yolanda. Uh, we'll keep you posted on who we're going to have tomorrow to, to join us. And um, we will see you then. Thank right? you. Why are you not going to be there? I have to go. I have to record. I'm recording. Oh, what are you recording? Tell us what you're recording. I have decided to do you, what? something that uh, was actually another hypnotist friend of mine as well. Two hypnotists decided that was a good idea. And I thought, why not do it? It is an audio program about how to get through COVID-19, how to stay healthy, stay positive mentally, uh, you know, keep your body in shape and all that. So I'm going to go in the studio tomorrow and record all that. And I'm going to be offering it as a gift for people just because I think it's uh, it's something that needs to be done. So that is going to be taking place. Lisa Jordan, I would be over. Lisa, come over. I live I lived close. Oh, if she would come over, she lived closer. Oh. Well. We don't allow new leases here in town. They don't, have, they don't allow leases in Las Vegas. I don't know why. We're not allowed leases in Vegas? No. We don't? No. Oh. We don't. We don't. So sure. Well, we do have a couple friends we could call and see if they want to come over for dinner. I'm sure they would love to. <laughs> Considering I have a platter full of food for tonight. So, anyway, Mark's. Uh, awfully quiet today. I don't I know what's going all on. Day. Oh, you weren't up there working like me. I had to work all day. <laughs> you know, I'm out there in the yard and getting up. Oh, I'm going to set my alarm for 6 a.m. You? you ain't going to get to 6 a.m. The hell you, I won't. Um, you get up at 6 a.m. Me. Yeah, you got up at 6 a.m. Because, because you're you, alarm enough. You were meeting your uh, your guy. At 7. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my buddy comes over. He, he's your little shenanigan partner. He, he's coming over next weekend, too. He, he's like, What's he coming for next weekend? I got to oh. build the wall. Oh, now he's got to build the wall. Okay. Now you get uh, brick. So, anyway, so he must be tired today. He's a little off. 
I'm not off. I yeah, you are. You're not. You're not. I have gas. Okay. I've been <laughs> farting up the storm. What the heck did you eat? You have gas. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Sometimes you say things. I didn't say I'm oh, drunk. I think I'm drunk. No, I think you're out of it. I'm just drunk. I haven't drink anything. No, you haven't. God, I haven't drank anything in a while. I'm quit. I'm gonna quit drinking. What are you gonna drink now? I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm not drinking. Are you gonna dye your beard blonde? What? Yeah, you need to dye it blonde because your hair goes blonde from here up, and then from here down it goes gray. It's, it's not gray, okay? <laughs> it is blonde. And uh, this is not blonde. That's gray. I'm gonna shave. Gray. I'm gonna no. I gotta do my photo shoot first. Yeah, and you can't shave until you do your photo shoot. So. And then I'm gonna shave all this and all this and just leave just the mustache and do photo shoot with a with just a leather jacket. And what are you turning? What are you turning into? I don't even know. I'm lost. <laughs> I've lost myself. Midlife crisis for working. I, I haven't done a show and I don't know how long. I haven't been on stage speaking. Oh, is that why you have any withdrawals? I haven't. So how my sound company you're out trying to, You're trying to, you know you're you're trying to expose a new image. You know what I do my sound company? I what? pull roots out. Yeah, you did. I, I pull <laughs> trees out in my sound company. Hey, what is, is your sound company working? Yeah, it's working well. I uh, pulled 15 uh, oleanders out the other day. Nice. Yeah, that's what I use my trunk for. Yeah. Can you post the recipe to uh, what recipe? The one you just did. Oh, it's already posted on Conversations with Mark and Yolanda. I posted the whole recipe. It's got to be from Elisa. Only Elisa would ask so, a question like that. Yeah, Lisa. go, go, to, uh, go, to, uh, go to our page, Conversations with Mark and Yolanda. The, the recipe is posted there. I'm calling my doctor um, friends. I always post the recipe oh, there gosh. when I'm going to cook something, just so that if you guys want to follow along, you, you have it. All right. So we will see you tomorrow. Well, I will probably see you tomorrow. Mark, obviously, he's got to go record. So, um, what are you doing? I tried to end it. <laughs> obviously, let me rinse my hands off because I have, I have honey on them. All right, what? What? Honey. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Us. Um, enjoy the meal. Um, I've also had some requests to make. Uh, the flan cake that I made, but to show you guys how I took it out of the pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the uh, red velvet flan cake, and then um, I will show you guys how I how I took it out of the pan, um, so you can see how easy it was. So um, I will share with that with you guys later after I make the cake and let it cool and all that good stuff. So you guys have a great Sunday and enjoy your meal if you made it or if you're going to make it and we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.